Investimentos em inovação na área militar no passado possibilitaram a criação de várias tecnologias que usamos hoje diariamente. Esse foi um dos aspectos destacados pela economista Mariana Mazucato, especialista em inovação no setor público, em estudo apresentado ao ministro da Defesa, Aldo Rebelo. Na pesquisa O Sistema de Inovação Brasileiro, uma proposta orientada por missões, Mariana defende uma agenda a longo prazo que estimule a inovação visando promover o desenvolvimento econômico. Well, first of all, uh, investments in innovation are the key drivers of long-run productivity and growth. And innovation doesn't just have a rate, but also a direction. So really one of the challenges for any government is to think about directionality, those choices about what areas a country wants to actually be competing in. But instead of thinking about it in terms of a particular sector, two or three different sectors, it's quite interesting to learn from the mission-oriented policies of the past And of course, the military and the defense sector has played a critical role. But really, you know, we don't want to think about the military as a static entity. We should be thinking about the kinds of investments by the defense sector that could even catalyze growth in terms of energy innovation, healthcare innovation. It shouldn't be seen in a static way. Otherwise, in the long run, that will also produce not just less growth, but less inclusive growth. O trabalho desenvolvido por meio da Universidade de Sussex, na Inglaterra, onde Mariana é professora, teve a coautoria do professor da Universidade Federal do Rio de Janeiro, Caetano Pena. Um dos pontos levantados no estudo é a adoção de políticas públicas orientadas por missões que estimulem o desenvolvimento em diversos setores da sociedade. I think that one of the challenges we have is also to produce indicators of economic growth and valuation mechanisms which allow different agencies to actually think about the long run. It's interesting to look at how some of these military-funded technologies then produce civilian products, again, all the technologies in our smartphones, but the economic value, uh, the commercialization objective was not there from the start. The start began with thinking about big problems and missions and then eventually, precisely because the innovation was done in a dynamic way across the whole innovation chain, defense is interesting because they fund not just the science, but also the demand pull through procurement. And because that was done in a, in, a, in a dynamic way through the whole innovation chain, it facilitated commercialization eventually. And civilian uh, technologies, commercialization actually often is most successful when we don't obsess about commercialization.